what's up everybody welcome back to the channel i got a little bit of stuff back here uh got the truck fixed it was just that fuse that blew again so don't turn on the air conditioner this go around and it's hot but i want to show y'all something real quick before i get started i want to do a sprat a scrap a scrap pickup yesterday Rebar, isn't that exciting? No, uh, a hood to a 1937 Chevy. So that's pretty cool. And I uh, asked my dad, you know, he's does a has a mechanic shop and he's a mechanic and does a lot of builds and stuff. And I sold to him for 50 bucks, so it's not getting thrown in the scrap pile. So I'll make some of y'all happy. But I figured y'all might like wanting to see that. But yeah, so I'm gonna go out, see if I can find a few things. Let's see, no, I don't think I have any cutters in here. Before we go, these will work. I got a pair of blue pair in here somewhere. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, we good. All right. together with tape and bubble gum. But, uh, I'll see y'all if we find anything. I don't really have very high hopes though, but we'll try. I have such low hopes for today. I'm gonna grab everything. the Swiffer that's that's some exciting stuff huh guys <laughs> I just don't think we'll find a whole lot today I mean, everybody else has been out picking all day so we'll just take what we can Get us a Nerf gun. Some kids' clothes, it looks like. Make sure this thing works. Uh, oh, yeah, it still works. Another one to add to the little collection. Now if I can just find a bunch of darts. Somebody's scrapper cart's down. Yesterday was in the dumpster, me and Matt came through. Somebody was nice enough to pull it out for them. And then it was down there. I know the kind of know the guy that I think that whose it is. He's a nice guy, so hope he's all right. There's all those bungees and stuff. I wouldn't figure he would leave all that. But golly, I ran over the curb. Oops. Anyways, let's see if we can find some stuff. I see some. Oh, oh yeah, it'll get it good. It's like I say, see those gold fingers? Pretty cool, huh? You open oh, some circuit board. Let's go look in that other bag and see if there's anything else worth a darn. My grabber's a match truck. Oh, 
That looks like household stuff, don't it? Straighten it out. Well, I'll just get the metal off of it then. Scrap. Already got it in my hand, so. That's, uh, I believe that stuff over there is stripped. A little zip tie. If that's a zip tie, that would be awesome. It is. <laughs> biggest zip tie. some no I don't think it is but we'll see sticky couldn't get so lucky could we Stainless, most likely aluminum is pretty light. grade telecom boards. Time to... Hopefully she starts. made the trip each one's basically five bucks
while since I had a good board, board score. I guess I could sell those as gold connector ends. A dollar a pound, maybe. That's cool. Almost like five bucks, pretty much. They're almost weigh pounds. Some of that one don't, but just to be conservative, a couple bucks. Man, should have had me a toad, I guess. This is probably pestering us a lot. Here's a lot anything in there these are not people say these are brass you know when I find shotgun shells they hardly make them brass anymore the older ones are but I find a lot of them magnet fishing so they're not they're just steel that's just some Circuit board, more high grade telecom boards. Let's get these dudes out too. Now I'm just gonna start throwing it. I don't wanna put it in the bag. This is probably, won't believe it, but like probably $75, $80 worth of boards that I've got out of here. 80 bucks. I gotta clean them up and smell them off. But still. And if they give me Gold connector ends of these, these are a dollar a pound, or they were last time I looked. There's another board. Well, cleaned them out, didn't we? That's awesome. That is really awesome. That made my knot right there. It's getting low on high grade telecom boards to mail into board sort. And you can see them. See to mail them in. You clean this off. You take any, let's see, take the transformers off like that. With those, you get 25 cents a pound for if you take a scrapyard because it's basically they give you an electric motor. And, uh, and anything sticky, I take off. And then it's five dollars fifty cents a pound last time i set any in so it's worth it to me especially i'm just sitting home sometimes with the kids so that was pretty
pretty cool. I guess we cleaned them out. I don't know if that came from here or not. I'll get rid of it. All right, cool. We're in business now. Now we can look over. I overshot it. Got a little bit of shred too. So. Heck yeah. Send me out a board sort box. Y'all guys want me to send that? Send out just this one? If I can get it all to fit in the box and see how much it's worth, let me know. I'll send out everything that we found just now. And, uh, Y'all let me know if y'all want to see that. See how much it's worth. It'll take a few weeks. But I'll keep y'all posted if y'all want to know. Just let me know down in the comments. I'm going to show y'all something if it's still here. Me and Matt were digging in here a, night, a couple nights ago. We found all kinds of cool stuff in here. Some cast iron skillets. I didn't film and I was riding around with Matt. And found some Thundercat VHSs. But I was going to see if I could find... something there was a couple of these pictures I wanted to show you I think they somebody may have got them no here's one I mean I usually don't show personal pictures but look at this dude man he's got the gold rings on his deal class ring there got the gold chains got the vest there was two or three of those in here actually I could take that out and that would be Pretty cool looking frame, actually. I didn't think about that. If I can get it out. I don't want to take a picture of the dude. Oh, no, it's stapled in there. I still might. They're tacked in there is all. Oh, they're, yeah, they're just tacked. Yeah. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I'm going to take the picture of him out and throw it away, but. <laughs> I wanted to show you all that. Let's see if anybody threw anything else away over here. That's definitely not recyclable. I just take cardboard and plastic and aluminum cans and uh, steel cans, but not like stuff like that. So not what we found, like VHS tapes and stuff. But yeah, that's funny. There was another one in there that still that wasn't. Uh, I don't know why I grabbed it. I think I'm gonna play a joke on Matt and take it out, wrap it up or something, and give it to me. <laughs> Anyways, let's go see if we can find some more stuff. Better not. Oh. This seems kind of heavy in here. I'll just. Get some potting soil and stuff. There's something. That's pretty cool. And 
what we got here gator line dang that was $18 they never even used it empty two cycle oil some little starters I should probably should keep them but right, so hold off on the potting soil that was kind of cool let's go on the other side and there's let's see what else we can throw in our our gator <laughs> gator bucket dang that's a big pool you don't see anything else that kind of feels heavy folders and stuff all right cool oh look at there we didn't find a lot of scrap we're finding some some stuff that that bucket and look at that weed eater string heck yeah And all those boards, man, that, I mean, believe it or not, it maybe look like an empty truck, but what we are finding is good stuff. Everything helps. <laughs> Feed my kids one piece of trash at a time. Definitely shreddable. It's got a metal bottom. Is that a? Hey, yeah, it's a battery. Fly on, whatever, whatever they're called. Seventy-five cents a pound for them. Huh? Cool. At the flies. Probably because you're digging in the trash. Yeah. I almost went away too soon, didn't I? waste not only like cat five wire it's like 80 cents a pound last time I checked See if we're gonna have any oil filters for Sunday or not. I don't have really anything to put them in right now, but this time I won't get dumped until till like Monday, I think. So, all right, yeah. All right, I guess this last week was a fluke, wasn't it? 
Yeah, we'll come back and get them on Sunday. I'll have a tote and everything. I don't want to use that bucket because it's got holes in it. But yeah, we'll get them for sure. I just want to have an empty truck, but yeah, they ain't going nowhere. If somebody gets them, that's good, but they'll add more to it tomorrow. They should anyway. I think they're open tomorrow. Yeah. We'll get us one big juicy one. And then we'll come back Sunday and get the rest of them. I just don't have nothing to put them in. I can empty out a sack and all that, but we're losing daylight and we'll have plenty of daylight on Sunday, so I was just scared that it was gonna be start being empty, but it's not, so woohoo! What? I was just checking this dumpster. It's been run over. Yeah, it feels kind of light. I think it's fake. Let's see if I can see any markings on it. Can y'all see? Just a ring. It's not sticky. So it's at least aluminum. Uh, I don't know. I can't see any markings on it anywhere. Huh. That's still cool though. I'll put it in the bottom of that toolbox and forget about it forever, pro. <laughs> There's the tote we need. Go back to we might go back to start to tote for Sunday, I guess. Let's see if this place left the same thing today. I don't think they did by the looks of it. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Let's look in that box. I see something. I grabbed a little piece of tin. Oh gosh. Oh, oh. Just a little piece of wire. I don't find much here anymore. Probably because I started putting it on YouTube. Just some crumbs. But it's okay. Take our little bit of wire and then go. <clears throat> well guys, that is probably gonna wrap this up. It is getting dark and I gotta run into this pet store and uh, get some guinea pig food. Gotta feed my guineas. So, Thank y'all very much for watching. I'm glad to get out and find a few things. And uh, if you're ever in my town, this is where I take my, sell my, my baby guinea pigs too. So anyways, let's go in there and 
get some guinea pig food and, and all that. So I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all guys have a good one. I'll see you on the next one.